So let's try to talk about level one. <clears throat> level one is how to not get infected from the coronavirus. And the entire machinery of the WHO, the entire machinery of the government of India, the entire machinery of the health professionals, everybody is talking about that first level, how to not get infected. They are asking us to do three things. First is social distancing. Second is wearing a mask. And third is washing our hands with soap water. The amount of bombardment on social media, vans moving around in every lane from the municipality, so much of emphasis, so much of endorsement, so much of repeated warnings to us should give us a striking understanding that this is extremely important. Those countries like Spain, Italy and US are failing in spite of the best healthcare systems in the world having that toll so high is because they have not really taken seriously the level one prevention measures which are already so scientifically strongly being approved by all world authorities. So if we fail to do that, we will also have to do the same thing. Why is it virus spreading so fast? This virus is, let us understand something about immunity. The immune system is something which is there in the body of two types. One is innate system, other is adaptive system. When we look at pandemics which have taken place over the years, in 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, all of them have been, have been because of zoonotics, diseases coming from animals to the human civilization. And therefore, the human civilization has never ever contacted, is never exposed to the antigenic material from these microbes. And therefore, we are actually completely deficient in mounting a specific adaptive response against the microbe. In the absence of that particular type of thing, <clears throat> You are heavily dependent on your innate system. Now look at the, if you look at the admissions in the United States, 78% of people who were admitted in the ICUs were people who had at least one comorbidity. And 80% of the people who died were about 80 years. In India, 10% of the population is already elderly, beyond 60. That means they have very poor innate immunity. About 8 to 9 percent of people have diabetes and most of them uncontrolled. Add that. How many people are really suffering from chronic obstructive lung diseases like COPD, asthma? Add that. How many people are into regular use and abuse of alcohol, tobacco, smoking and drugs? Add that. How many people are suffering from <clears throat> heart disease, from heart failure? Add that. If we put all these things together, we have almost 50% of a population which is highly vulnerable. So highly vulnerable population with absolutely zero adaptive immune systems operating against the microbe puts the whole population of the country in a huge risk state. And therefore, following the first level of hand washing, mask and social distancing becomes of paramount importance which cannot be compromised. Thank you.